here comes the rain. It's, uh, what time is it? 7.15. 15 on the uh, 25th of August. It's Thursday, I think. Or is it Friday? No, it's Friday. Uh, 60 degrees out. Sunrise was at uh, 525, I think. No. 545. And sunsets at 723. I can't remember these things anymore. I don't know why. Nothing on the side of the game cameras. I'm up late because I had cramps all night. <coughs> I, uh, it was hot yesterday for this time of year in April. In uh, April. I mean, in Maine. It was... Uh, 80 degrees and I was out with the chipper and chainsaw pole pruner I was uh, pruning up some limbs on the trees uh, yesterday you might remember I had a pile of apple branches here I chipped those up Went down to the south field and cut some alders that had overgrown the trails. And uh, there's some apple branches that had given out under the weight of snow. More chippings. <coughs> so, I guess I didn't hydrate enough. Hey, come on. Uh, <clears throat> and after all the shipping and pruning and stuff, I uh, got my zero turn out and <clears throat> ran over the shippings to spread them out. <clears throat> In one big pile, it's just sitting there. Sounds like a big truck coming down a hill. Jake Park right here. Yep. <coughs> so he's holding carry every load. Oh. Yep, he's a uh, truck truck. Oversized load. Wow. When we were, when we were there going to harvest. not familiar with that piece of machinery, that was a uh, skitter. That's what drives through the woods and carries out the uh, harvested wood. 
<clears throat> well, Kevin White left yesterday. He uh, sent me a picture. He's got the uh, all the rafters on, all the wood on top of the rafters, and then all the shingles on. So he's got the roof up to make it long story short. Lincoln today to uh, drop the truck off to get the oil and oil filter, fuel filter change and tire rotation. <coughs> I was uh, going to just drive in myself and wait, but it's supposed to rain all day, so <coughs> probably just really drop it off wait for the call and have Rita take me back <clears throat> I have to stop by where's I don't know where's equipment I think pick up a chain for my uh battery operated chainsaw. <clears throat> I tried sharpening the chain the other day but uh, didn't do a very good job. <clears throat> After I sharpened it <clears throat> I saw a video saying that the optimal angle to grind the chain or to put a cutting edge on, it's 30 degrees, and I was at 40, so. <clears throat> I have to spend the bucks to get a new chain. lobster feed at the snowmobile club and we're just going to go by the uh, the club today and, and husk the corn is that the right word husk Chipping up and pruning things yesterday. I noticed that uh, Ginny was up here checking her mailbox. And uh, it's unusual that she's checking her mailbox because she's been living in New Hampshire. And she wasn't supposed to be back until October. But uh, she chose to end her contract early. And now she's here full time. So her mail is no longer being forwarded. So I have a, uh, a neighbor some 1,200 feet north of me. More coyotes last night. I was looking to take care of business. Ran out of grass by day ago.
train did five steps. <clears throat> Come on, bud. Let's go to the house. I thought she was going to retire, but she says she wants to get some full-time work locally here so she can be home every night. <clears throat> I haven't seen my brother since he moved up on Tuesday. He's been busy. He's got uh, his in-laws there. And uh, working around the property. Even though he cut his grass the other day, he wanted to cut it again. He cut it up more. And he got his tractor out. Took his uh, snowblower off the back of it and put the push hog on. And cleaned up the field south of the house. So his, uh, his grass is all cleaned up. And he uh, went to town yesterday to do some more grocery shopping and uh, took his Jeep, get the Jeep some exercise, and took that to the car wash. <clears throat> I take my truck to the car wash more often, but living on a dirt road, there's no point. You get a wash, but it's time to get back here, it's covered in dust. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure what time the coyotes came through last night. But uh, I heard him, Flynn was at the window barking. Not a big bark, just a, a muffled bark. And there's some pretty heavy breathing where he uh, snorts. Nothing is a snort, but it just pulls in a lot of air to try and smell them. On his last walk yesterday evening, went up through the uh, the field east of the house, and there was fresh coyotes got there. So having not heard them all summer, two nights in a row. <clears throat> Seeing the coyotes cat all the time, but hadn't heard them. And I don't know if I said it already, nothing on the set of the game cameras. <coughs> There's a, an apple tree here that the apples aren't that good. And the uh, branch had broken there, straight ahead. It was down in the ground, so I just cut it off there and chipped it up. So you chip and Chipping stuff up is not a lot of fun when there's a lot of leaves on. <clears throat> it's very heavy to lift, and then the leaves tend to uh, bog down the chipper. But it got the job done.
did pick some apples yesterday. And the last of the apples is a, you know, uh, take a walk by it. There's a yellow apple here. Let's down here, down here, fine. There's a yellow apple tree down here. Actually, there's one right, right there. I've never had the apples off that. There was a bunch of yellow apples on that. I picked that. Let's go over here. There's a very strange apple tree here. Um, you're pretty tough in there. Yeah. They're not round. They're uh, sort of oblong, is that the right word? They taste pretty good once they're, uh, once they're ready to eat, but they come in late. <clears throat> There's a yellow apple tree here. A lot of the stuff's on the ground already. I picked a bunch off of here. Anything that was, uh, once you touch it, if it fell off, I took it. If it had a pull on it, I just let it be. And it's weird because if you look here, there's two, there's two, three trunks. And the one on the right is yellow and the one on the left is red. And if you come over here somewhere, you might see the red apple here. Those are the red apples. They mix right in here. But <clears throat> over here, <clears throat> I got some apples off of this tree here. I should have got out there, out here earlier. But most of them had fallen on the ground. These are good apples up here. And then over here, Flynn. Over here is the uh, coyote scat. Now we mowed what? On Tuesday, Wednesday. We mowed on Wednesday. And uh, that was that Thursday. Good apple tree, bad apple tree. <clears throat> Play, come on. I guess the cats are out here. He's pretty intent on small in this area. Oh, it could be deer. But come on. <clears throat> Little area in there I cut the grass on Wednesday. This had been all alders here, but it blocked this path so I come down. There's an alder there, you can see. Just take it over that path. I cut that back years ago and she's blocked it again. <clears throat> Getting back to the house. Uh, 
they moved the uh, the chair yesterday evening over there. I wanted to take some videos. It was a drone, but uh, as I walked back to the house, I could feel the wind pick it up, so I didn't bother. I charged all the batteries in preparation to do some drawage, but don't need the wind to take it away. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.